right, Christy, who do we, where are we today and who do we have here? Yeah, so we are at the Davis County Animal Shelter in Owensboro, Kentucky, and this is my friend Tally. Isn't she beautiful? She is beautiful. She's about six years old and she's been here for four months already waiting for that forever home. So somebody needs to come out here and adopt this adorable girl. They do, girl. they do. And in the meantime, if they can't adopt, if they could come by and give her a walk or some loving, yeah. she would absolutely eat it up. <laughs> <laughs> you sweet thing. So tell us, so out here at the Davis County Animal Shelter, uh, what are some of the volunteer volunteers that you all need out here? Volunteering opportunities. Yeah, so we need volunteers. <laughs> Dares to do all sorts of things. Walking dogs is a big part of what we do. We have 90 dogs on site. They get out of their kennels just five to 10 minutes a day. If we had more volunteers, we could double, triple that time out of the kennel. So they become more adoptable the more time they're out of their kennel too. Sure. So, well, so they... dog walking is huge. Yeah. yeah. And so we also have some cats on site. So we need cat cuddlers uh -huh. is what I call them. Uh -huh. um, the cats are pretty much, you know, acting like cats, but they do, some of them do want a little bit of loving. Um, you can help us clean the cat cages as well. That goes for the dogs too. If somebody's into cleaning, um, we have a lot of poo yeah. <laughs> that they could clean up. My kids come out here and they actually scoop poo in the play yard. So that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, we have so a- can, That's cool. So you could do this as a family. So yes. Folks oh, out yeah, there yeah, watching. Yeah. It's a family affair. Yeah. That's a great idea. So yeah. Me, my wife, my kids can come out here, Absolutely. volunteer walking dogs, yes. clean it up. Yes. Blue. The kids actually love it. You'd be surprised. I pay 10 cents a pile. So anyway, uh, but yes, the family aspect is great. So my kids are seven and 12. We've been volunteering for years and they absolutely love it. They can't wait. We have small animals here too. So like gerbils, hamsters, guinea pigs, rabbits. Uh -huh. So my one 12 year old, she does all the small animals. And then I have a cat lover and she goes to the cat room. And then my husband and I foster and he's the one who takes care of the foster. So it's absolutely a family affair. And That's if cool. they're 14 or older and they've been through some training and they're ready to go walk dogs, they can actually walk dogs by themselves. Okay. And so if they're 14 or 13 and younger, they'll always need a chaperone with an arm's length. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, I know she was wanting to walk. So let's, <laughs> She's ready to let's, go. How about we walk and talk? Okay. Let's do walk that. Walk and talk. Okay. Yes. So let's, uh, tell us more. You, you mentioned earlier about uh, laundry. Yes, yes. We need volunteers to help with laundry. As you can imagine, with all these dogs and cats around here, um, we need we do a lot of laundry. Pro it probably runs all day long. I don't long, know where so. we're going, so I'm following Yeah, we're just going to go gonna straight go. around okay. this tree. Yeah, um, so yeah, people to do laundry, fold, fold our towels, organize. We get lots of donations, thankfully, so we need folks to come and organize those. Um, lots of kind of behind the scenes organizational stuff too, if you're not into directly working with animals. Right. So you also mentioned, what is it? It's a, a dog day. Take your, what? Yes. Okay. That. It's a brand new program. We just started in January. It's called Dogs Day Out. Dogs Day Out. I'm it's sorry. It's my I couldn't favorite, remember. favorite time ever when I get the notification that somebody's picked up a dog. So some of our longtime residents like Tally sit in a cage every day, all day. She's been here for four months. She's a candidate for Dogs Day Out. So any of our long timers um, are candidates to go on a field trip basically. So we ask folks to fill out a volunteer form. Mm -hmm. They come sign off on some rules, guarantee that they'll keep them in Davis County limits and bring them back 30 minutes before the shelter closes. And if they want to, if they have a dog at home, they have to do a meet and greet on site to make sure that they're going to get along. Mm -hmm. No dog parks, but they can go to parks, walk, they can get them a pup cup. They can take them to PetSmart, Tractor Supply, Rural King. We get all kinds of great pictures. So oh. that is an amazing program, and it does so much for their spirits. Oh, gosh. Um, and dogs I'm like sure. Tally really need that. So, And that, that sounds like such a perfect program because if you're unsure and you hang out with the dog yes. or, the aunt or the cat, yes. or if you hang out with the dog all day, it's and then you kind of know... Okay, this mm -hmm. this is for our family, yeah. or you know, maybe we'll try a different one, yeah. right? And a lot of people will take them into their home, mm -hmm. and as long as it's in Davis County, we encourage that and see if they're a good fit or not. But the most beautiful thing about the program is, is that they document their day. So they, you know, 
have a picture of them inside and they're in their pen in the kennel and then they have a picture of them in the car uh -huh. and then they might have a pup cup for them yeah. they might be at the park and then they might be taking a nap on their couch later so it's just a beautiful story to tell and it helps us improve their adoptability like crazy so we encourage everybody to come and do a dog's day out that's all and take tally <laughs> she really wants to go she hasn't been yet <laughs> well we'll continue to walk i know she's wanting to walk yeah. so um anything else I, I, how do they get the information if they want to do a dog's day out yeah. if they want to adopt if they want to look at the uh animals that are available for adoption right i mean wh what's so, i guess the website so there's a couple ways davisky.org is our website that lists all of our adoptable pets okay. so if you're interested in adopting you can find the adoption paperwork there it's just a quick form on the internet you can find the volunteer form there um it's form central you can find the dog walking training video yeah, on that oh website yeah, i watched that yeah yeah morning. yeah it's a great it's great so um and then we also have a facebook page that we just are very active we have thirty-two thousand followers oh wow and it's incredible and so um we put all kinds of information out on there too so you'll see stuff about dogs day out the best thing is you'll see their pictures when they get to go on their trips and see see who's ready to go to a real family so that's fun yeah. tell me about the Facebook Live, y'all are doing that okay. so one so, today, and you do them how often? Yeah, so I foster, um, so whenever I can't move my fosters fairly quickly, I'll set up a Facebook Live video. So basically, it's just a virtual meet and greet. Um, people, people log on, and they have the ability to ask questions. Hey, you, you see your friend over there? Tally loves other dogs. Uh, they have the ability to interact with the dog and ask questions virtually, um, and so it tends to work. To, to place dogs. So today, um, in the news, you've probably heard about it. It's a sad thing. We are we are overcrowded. We're about double capacity um, right now. And so we have a code red situation and there are five dogs who will be euthanized on Monday. Okay. And it's Friday. Yeah. Um, so today at noon, we are doing a live virtual meet and greet with those five candidates um, to showcase their awesome personalities because they're all fantastic dogs right. um, and have people engage and ask questions. All right. Well, thank you so much. You're Christy, welcome. For your time. Thank you, Randy. This hey, has been awesome. And side note, you may be the only other Christy that spells her name the same way that my wife Christy does. It's, it is not very <laughs> common to have that spelling. You are you are correct about that. But funny enough, there's a volunteer Christy who spells it like that who comes oh, to the shelter. So oh, maybe we need you. to bring her next time. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Uh, it's awesome what you're doing because. You are a volunteer. Yes. And you spend a lot of time. I so do. It's, what's your favorite part thing about volunteering? I think my favorite thing is seeing the growth um, in the community engagement piece here in Owensboro. So we started out with very few volunteers. We can walk if you um, want. Sure, she's wanting to go. Um, very few volunteers, and we we're exploding right now. So. Um, <laughs> That's and we want thing. to continue to do that because we've got to get advocates to get to know each of these dogs and tell their story. Uh -huh. And so the more people we can get on site to help walk and clean kennels and, and play with them. Um, we have a volunteer who comes out here and teaches commands because if they know sit down and stay, they're going to get adopted. So yeah, yeah. Um, we, have, we have just an incredible team of volunteers but we're always, always trying to find more. Um, so I think that's my favorite thing. And just, you know, you get way more than you give out here. Absolutely. Um, she sees her friend. She's she wanting does. to go play. Hi, buddy. It's okay, honey. <laughs> Come on. I know. On. She's waiting for her chance. That, that's a potential oh, no. adopter. She's, she's thinking someday, someday. <laughs> well, thanks again for your time. Thank you, Randy. And sweet little girl, I hope you find your forever <laughs> home girl, soon. Telly. I hope you find your forever <laughs> home soon. And thanks for everything that you do. Absolutely. What an inspiration you are. It's a blessing, and, and um, I just hope more people will come out and find that it's a blessing for them, too. Thank you. You're welcome.